So it's been about two years since I have made the review video on this little four inch mini chainsaw that I got from banggood.com and I thought it would be fun to make a video and give you guys an update on how well this has performed over those past two years and also answer some questions that I get asked all the time. In case you aren't familiar with this tool, I will put a link to the review that I did up here in the corner of the video and also down in the description. And for those of you that aren't familiar, this is a four inch miniature chainsaw that operates on Makita style batteries. So that means there's no more messing with a big bulky, heavy gasoline engine that you hope starts on the first few pulls. You just pull the trigger and it works. And for those of you that are interested in purchasing one of these saws, there is also a link in the description of the video. Yes, it's been about two years since I made that review video, and I'll say it has been a very interesting tool to have around the shop and the farm. It has come in handy many times. This is the same saw that I used in that review, and it has gotten its fair share of use and abuse. My favorite use for this saw has been to keep it on the tractor and trim those low-hanging limbs that would always hit me in the face when I tried to drive under a tree. I just keep the saw by my side, and when I get to a limb that needs cut, I just grab the saw, make the cut, then throw the limb on the ground and run over it with the mower when I make the next loop around on the tractor. This has worked out great, and I've eventually got rid of all of the low-hanging limbs, and now I don't have to deal with them on a regular basis. Another great use that I have found for this saw is to trim up firewood. I always seem to miss a limb or a branch and it's just too long to fit inside my wood stove. And this saw comes in handy for that because it is electric and I can use it inside and not have to worry about gas fumes. This saw has stood up to its fair share of use and abuse. There was one part that didn't take long to break and that was that little fly swatter thing that sat right here on the front. I set the saw on the side of my workbench and it accidentally got knocked over onto the floor. And of course, that was the first piece to break. This was no big deal to me because I really didn't see a use for that little fly swatter grid that mounted right here on the top of the saw. And I did point that out in the video. It still works perfectly. And other than that little piece of plastic here on the top, nothing else has broken on the saw in the past two years. I am still using the original battery that came with the saw. I've probably run this battery down 15 to 20 times and charged it back up. If you watch the original review video, you can see just how much I was able to cut with one charge of the battery. And that should give you an idea of how much I have actually cut with this saw. The battery hasn't appeared to lose any of its charge and I still get about the same amount of use out of each charge of the battery. One of the most asked questions I get about this saw is, does it work on Makita batteries? And the answer is yes, it works on Makita batteries. I'm amazed at how many questions I get about this, especially when I showed in the video the saw working on a Makita battery. So I guess now we know who skips and fast forwards through the videos. I am heavily invested in DeWalt tools, so that means I have a lot of DeWalt batteries. I don't own any Makita tools or batteries, so I ordered this adapter that will allow Makita tools to work with DeWalt batteries, which has turned out great because when the original battery that came with the saw runs down, I can just grab this adapter and one of my DeWalt batteries and keep on working. The charger that comes with the saw is not a quick charger, so it takes it a while to recharge that original battery. Now, if you're interested in this adapter, I've got links down in the description for this adapter that works with DeWalt batteries and also other manufacturers. One other thing that I did find out about this battery since I made that review video is if you look here on the side, it appears to be labeled as a 48 volt battery. Well, if you look closely, it says 48 VF. And I've been told by several people that this is the model number of the battery in China, not the voltage. I did search for 48 VF and I did find several other tools that use this same battery. And if you remember in that original review video, I did open this up and confirmed that this is not a 48 volt battery. 
If this was a 48 volt battery and a 48 volt tool, the Makita batteries would definitely not work on this saw. Neither would my DeWalt batteries with the adapter. Maybe this is done on purpose to mislead. Maybe it's not. You'll have to decide. Another question I get asked all the time is, how do you oil it? And again, this is something that I showed in the original video, but some seemed to have skipped over it. The saw comes with this little oil bottle and I just applied oil as I saw fit. This has worked great for me for the past two years. The chain in the bar did not wear out because it didn't have a constant supply of oil. You've got to keep in mind that this saw does not turn thousands of RPMs constantly like a gas chainsaw. And quite frankly, it does not need a constant supply of oil like a gasoline powered chainsaw. Which brings me to another frequently asked question, and that is, how do you sharpen the chain? Again, this isn't a full-size gas chainsaw. Yes, the chain will dull and wear out over time, but I took great care not to abuse the chain, and the original one lasted me about two years. It's just been recently, maybe about the past two months ago, that I changed out the original chain for a new one. So how do you sharpen the chain, you ask? My answer is you don't. I went to Harbor Freight and bought a file set and it had these small files in it. They are the right size to actually sharpen the chain, but I found out in my case, by the time the chain needs sharpened, it's time to just go ahead and replace the chain. Your experience may differ, but that's how it worked for me. To me, it's just not worth my time and trouble to sharpen the chain because a new chain costs four bucks. I bought a four pack of chains on Amazon for $16. And if I can get 18 months of use out of a chain, that means this four pack will last me six years. To me, $16 a chain over a six year period is a really good deal. And in case you're wondering, yes, I've got links to that four pack of chains down in the description of the video. Here's another question I get asked all the time and that is what brand name is it? Well, it doesn't have a brand name. I got it from Banggood and that's just the way they sell it. I will point out that if you do order one of these from Banggood, be sure and order it with the correct plug type because you'll find out real quick that a European plug doesn't work in a US socket and vice versa. I really like this saw. I can't tell you how many times it has come to the rescue here on the farm. And if I didn't have it, my only alternative would have been to go grab my big old bulky two stroke gas chainsaw and hope that I could get it started. So now that you've listened to my update, there is something shady that I want to warn you about. You may have seen clips of my original video for some online advertising, mainly on YouTube and Facebook. Those clips were stolen from me and used without my permission. These have been mainly from Chinese companies that make a similar type saw. Yes, YouTube does have several tools in place to help content creators like myself from getting ripped off from companies like this. The only thing is that these tools only work on videos. They don't work on advertisements. So I really don't have any recourse for getting these videos removed. So I want you to ask yourself this, if a company is going to rip me off and steal my videos, is it a company that you want to do business with? Probably not, because if you buy something from them, they're probably going to rip you off too. I hope you like this type of update video. I thought I would try something different and see if you guys like it. I know there's a lot of YouTube channels out there that do reviews on products and then you never ever hear anything about that product again. So I thought this would be something fun to try. If you did like it, please do me a favor and smash that like button. And if you bought one of these after seeing my original review video, let me know how well that worked out for you down in the comments. If you aren't a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching.